yeah, life sucks in bear country. Had a good year of two cubs. Come at me from about 80 yards. How's this sound, Kevin? How's Kevin doing, by the way? Is he doing a good job? Kevin, how's this, how's this sound? How do you, how do I sound? How does he sound? He sounds good, but here's the deal. I can turn this, I don't want to screw anything up and adjust to, but I found a different hole, so now I can actually hear the oh, sound. Oh, good, good. So anyways, <laughs> anyways. tell us he about found what the hole. He found the hole. Now I can hear it. <laughs> Always using the wrong hole. <laughs> hey, tell us about, I mean, was, I don't know, dude. I gotta hear the story. I mean, I in a just, nutshell, I mean, go for it, man. This is incredible. October 1st, uh, just over a year ago, and I was just out scouting some elk up in Montana, yeah. and early morning hike up into the woods, and I step out into a meadow, and here's a sow grizzly and two cubs at the other end of the meadow. Oh my so, God. And so immediately, we see each other, she runs over the ridge, and disappears and I'm thinking great yeah. that bear doesn't like people she's gone so I'm going to continue up the trail to the opposite direction right and I take a few steps hear a noise over my left shoulder I turn she had circled around the ridge and comes right over the top of the ridge full open charge 35 40 miles an hour that's and creepy a lot, of time, a lot of times they'll do like a like a mock charge so like a, like a bluff stop. charge yeah, a yeah bluff, bluff charge, charge and stop thinking, smell you kind of chomp yeah, i'm thinking yeah. it's probably a bluff charge that's common yeah, yeah. and so but i instinctively pull my bear spray pull the safety out look back up she's at like 30 feet coming wide open still i just start stepping back spray just her momentum at that speed carries her right through the spray she's on top of me i go down on my face for protecting the back of my my neck right and she bites me five or six times on this arm let me see and, man let me see so oh my gosh! She got here. you here. She got me here. That was the first bite. Tore a big now, hole in my deltoid. Now was that like a canine? Canine? Or a, yeah, canine. Canine just digging in there and ripping cool. a big hole out. So you got the reciprocal scar on the backside from the bottom teeth. Yeah, in. kind of all the way around here. Oh, but crazy. she bit me four or five times, and then she started coughing from the bear spray, and she took off. And it was over that quick. And I'm like, wow, I survived. A, grizzly attack and I'm like okay I look at myself well time to head to town and get some stitches at the hospital and yeah. so I picked so myself up. So even then you're that calm and collected. It just happened so quick I might just wow wow that was crazy but I'm okay I'm gonna you survive. Know what I'm thinking right then is like I, I probably have already peed my pants <laughs> if not number two. Well like it gets and better. And then I'm freaking like. <laughs> oh we haven't got to there yet. <laughs> we Let's, haven't got to. Well, keep going stuff. man keep going. So then I start hiking down the trail and five or six minutes down the trail feeling pretty safe now I'm getting away from this whole situation and right along the stream it's pretty noisy and all of a sudden I hear a noise I turn and here she is the second time so about how long, 10 feet how long between the first attack and like the second six eight minutes maybe so she's, and she's she went over the ridge she went over the ridge kids. and I think she grabbed the cubs and headed the other direction but there's a big canyon so she right. turned came down the ridge and we just bad luck bead back together again oh, and she saw me below her attacks me so she's 10 feet behind me I have bear spray in my hand I got a pistol but there's no time to use it she knocks me down to the ground this time she's mad she's on top of me her first bites in this arm breaks the all in the bone here got a good scar there both Holy sides where she bit through was that a Look compound fracture no nah, just a chip out of the all yeah. the bone wasn't too terrible and this is where the and this is where from. she ripped a bunch of the muscle and two, oh. tendon, two tendons were tendons. shredded and sticking out of my arm and that was all the first bite and instantly my hand is just crumped up and just yeah, all the right. nerve damage and then i'm just staying in that position and she's on top of me she bites this side 20 25 she's times standing on your back and just she had her claws dug in my lower back just buried in my skin she's got me pinned to the ground oh, and no. she's biting this arm she bit me in the side a no. claw just a second a... dude are you feeling queasy yet <laughs> no no <laughs> i don't want to I've experienced the claws in the back thing. Oh, yeah, before. me too. Okay. It yeah, wasn't a yeah, bear. A little different. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I was a little so. more worried, actually, maybe than you were. You sound more calm and collected than I yeah. would have been yeah. in the other situation. I mean, are you and, like, when she's biting you, I mean, are you just not saying anything? Or are you just like every time Are you she screaming? Bites you? Oh, yeah. No, are no. Are you freaking you, out? The more you make noise and keep moving, she's just going to keep Yeah, biting, I know so. that. I get it. I get that. But I mean, when, it's a, painful. Bear, when a bear's biting you, you're not like going, it was, oh, First bite, I remember the pain from the first bite, excruciating. And then it was like that survival mode. Right. And it's like, okay, if I keep making noise, if I move, she's not going to stop. So I went to just play dead and 
stayed in that position, protecting my face and my eyes, and just ignoring the pain. So you did all the right things. You sprayed her with the bear spray whenever you could, yep. even though she had all the momentum coming towards yep. you. You had a sidearm, which you weren't able to use the second time or the, the first time, attack, really. Yeah, the second attack, she ripped the pistol right off of me in the backpack, and oh. I, was, I was getting picked up and just kind of shaken around and slammed into the dirt, and then oh. she'd stand on me. It's, I think I mentioned it was like a sledgehammer with teeth. It was yes. not just biting, yeah. but it's just slamming you and biting. And, I got a question, though. So at 30 feet, you said you were able to spray her with the spray. Yeah. Does that compound the badness for you? Because then she's carrying bear spray right on top of you. Did you get some burns uh, I, I from that? I can smell it, but I did. It didn't affect me too bad. Because yeah, your adrenaline was going. Probably. <laughs> so I had. I was face down. Do you, kind of right. do you my wish face. you'd have just pulled out your gun that first time? You know, it's one of those things. You never know what's going to happen in that situation. I had like two seconds, and so had I pulled the pistol, I had a 10 mm on me. But had I pulled that. Maybe got a shot or two, might have hit it. You know, you're in a panic situation. I mean, it's like charging you at 40 miles what, an hour. It's what were you carrying? Never, 45? A 10 mm auto. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so I might have got a couple shots off. Right. Might have hit her, might not have. You know, the front of a bear skull is shaped to where it just can ricochet yes. off. Their brain oh, is in the back half. It's it's not a guarantee. And maybe Long it's a wounded it. bear now that's fighting for its life yeah, and its shoot. adrenaline. So it's hard to say what, you know, it's just. Yeah. It, it came to, I just pulled the yeah. bear spray instinctively and that was it. Do you have any kind of military background? Because you seem like you're pretty calm, cool. Uh, no military, but I... He's I, thinking I, this through while he's getting <laughs> bit. I'm like... Well, I spent my life in the woods. You know, I spent yeah. my life in Montana out there in the woods yeah. and working in, and this in was bear where country. In Montana, right? Southwest Montana, around Bozeman, oh. Yellowstone Park. I'll be dang. A lot of grizzly but, bears. You bring up a good point, though, because every time that I've ever worked uh, pistol training uh, with special operations guys, mm -hmm. uh, you know, instructors, whatever. they always say the best do the basics better. But the other thing is you default to your highest level of training. Right. So you've I had, you had to have, of, I had a lot of bear spray training. I've right. carried bear spray for 20, 30 years out there. I know what can happen. I've practiced pulling the bear spray and that came automatically. It's the muscle memory. And yeah. I went for the bear spray just without even thinking. Had I had a bunch of military background training, I might've drawn the pistol first, right. but it's like, it's what, You've trained, what you've practiced. You can get in trouble time. shooting a bear, though. You Art, can, You too. can get in trouble because they'll charge and a, just miss you or something sure. like that sometimes, or yeah. like saying the false charges. Yeah. It's creepy that this bear went around. Circled around and caught my scent, I guess, and then so came finish. in. Tell which me is, what happened. Then tell me the rest of well, it. So then after so the, now he's so on the top. She's, she's on, on top, top of me. Of she's got me pinned to the ground. I'm just yeah. not moving at all. You know, I'm just staying there in that position. Yeah. And, you know, finally she just stops biting and she's just standing there. And that was probably the eeriest part because I can feel and hear her Dude. breath on the oh. back of my neck. She's sniffing. <laughs> she's sniffing me and then she'd she's bite me. And then she'd head. sniff. Oh. And she's just seeing if I'm incapacitated. And I'm just like, don't move, don't move. She's gonna leave, holding my breath almost, just everything. Finally, she steps off, disappears. Yeah. I'm not sure if she's 10 feet away or if she went over the ridge. And right. so I'm kind of waiting that position. Wow. I got to thinking, if she comes back a third time, I'm not gonna survive. I got a broken arm, I, I can't see, you I got gotta blood get in my going. face. So I reach for my pistol, really slowly under here to get my pistol out of the, the chest holster. And it's not there, it's gone. It got ripped off during the attack. So now I'm completely helpless. Oh. So I reached up, wiped the blood out of my eyes, kind of looked both directions, didn't see her. Did you ever read? Pistol, pistol was laying about 10 feet away. I just dove for the pistol out of the holster, hammer back, looking around and she was gone. So I'm like, all right, I got to get out of here in case she comes back. So I tucked the pistol under this arm just where I could get to it, because this arm was useless. So right. I just held yeah. the pistol here like this, bear spray in this hand, and started down the trail. Had a three mile hike down to the truck, and then a 40. I think I would have kicked the bear spray right out of the, the yeah. kid at that point. <laughs> you got any, did, did anything cross your mind? Do you have a, any kind of a faith or anything? Do you ever, did you ever, it, did you ever think like, God, why, you know, why me? And well, like, I, you know, I thought it, that second attack, I'm like, am I gonna survive this? I was yeah. like, it's just like, I was so lucky to when survive the first back, one. The second time, thinking, it's like, oh, no. this is it, you know, this yeah. is it. And you, Kind of your life you flashes think before your that? eyes. Like, but what is that like for you? What well, I think like? most of that was, it was still in the survival mode. And yeah. so you're, even though you think that for a flash of a second, like, did I say, you know, when was the last time I talked to my parents or your girlfriend yeah. or something, yeah. or what was the last thing you said? It flashes, yeah. but then I'm like back into survival mode going, don't move, don't breathe, you know, you, yeah, you gotta get through that. And that was the thing. The biggest thing was just that, it's amazing yeah. what the human body can do. And just that will to survive, you can block out all the pain, 
all my other senses were heightened. I could smell her, she smelled so bad. Really? Um, when her teeth, the canine sinking into the muscle, it makes a sound. You could hear the crunching of the muscle oh. as those teeth are going in. Oh. And but I couldn't feel the pain then because you're just like that adrenaline, adrenaline and that survival mode. You're it's like you to know, live, yeah. man. I, I have this yeah. argument with people, you know, what's scarier, you know, like a great white shark or a bear? It's a bear, hands down. Yeah. Because they live where we live, yeah. number one. Secondly, is the creepiness of the bear being able to just stand on you and breathe on you and like there's that. There's nothing you can do. You have a 400 pound grizzly bear standing and got, you have you pinned to the ground. Oh. I have scars along the, my back where it's just dug in there and had me pinned oh and nothing I could do. I didn't want to get flipped over and be exposed to where Dude, she could think, tear out my I eyes or my face. And, yes, I, I think know. so. And I'm I don't just know happy to share to my story. Here on this earth, but I mean, I mean, he came close to death. It, it was That's very amazing. close and it just one bite in the back of my spine and yeah. it could have been over. So That's very amazing. lucky. Do you have any advice for people yeah. in the woods? Is, is bear spray something you still believe in? I still believe in bear spray. You know, it's, it works many times, but I think every situation is different. And my situation at 40 miles an hour, it carried her right through the bear spray, but it helped. Right. The first attack was only a few seconds. Um, but I think having a pistol, you know, I carry a 44 Magnum. I carry two bear sprays now just because I'm yeah. a little overcautious. Two bear sprays case. and some extra diapers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's what, that would be my we didn't advice. get to that. Biggest, we don't need to. Yeah. The biggest yeah. thing is is the practice. You know, whether it's bear spray, whether it's a pistol, practice it over and over, and get yeah. that muscle memory down. So, when all of a sudden something, some attacks you, and it's a surprise, you yeah. you don't panic, you don't run, right. you don't go ah. You know, you're like do doing you something have, automatically. Do you have any? I mean, you looks like you got full motion. Yeah, I've got. Uh, full range. I don't have a hundred percent in this hand. I can't get this hand open all the way, and it's. I don't have all the strength there, but it's like 80, it's 90 percent. Back. It's coming back slowly, and I do most everything I need to do. I just started shooting my bow again um, a couple oh, of weeks cool. ago. I finally could keep my wrist strong enough to start shooting. And how long ago did it happen? Just over a year ago. Dude, that's not October that long a year ago. ago. And you look great, by the way. Yeah, it looks like you, you built yourself back up good. Yeah. You know. Just trying so to tell us the... real quick about your knife company. What do you do? No, I, I build custom knives. Yeah. I've been doing that for almost 30 years now, yeah. and I use the best stainless steel that's available and nice exotic hardwood yeah. handles. You want to know what have... I would call his knife company? Yeah. Steel Balls Knife Company. <laughs> Am I right, Chris? I, well, I would go quite it's, <laughs> it's Steel Balls it's Knife Sky Company. Bl sky Blade You can knives. have that. I might even charge you. <laughs> Should uh, right. come up with a bear claw dagger Actually, or something. Actually, I just had a new model I did this year out of request from other people out there called the Grizzly model. Nice. And I've got it in three different blade yeah, lengths. But cool. uh, Sky Blade Knives. How find it? Skybladeknives.com. Yep. Skyblade knives. Uh, and lifetime knife. warranty, custom knife, all handmade, just me. Dude, that's just a so suggestion. Cool. If the guys in uh, Fortune Fire are watching, have Todd on. <laughs> He's got a great story. You can build some great knives. Thank you. That'd be awesome. Uh, Dude, thanks for coming out. Is thank you. Pleasure to meet you. For you. It's been what great. You? What are yeah. you seeing out there? Anything cool? Oh, yeah, a lot of good things around awesome. here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, enjoying right. walking around and meeting people. It's been really right. fun. So I appreciate awesome. appreciate your Thank time you, and the invite. Thank you. Thanks, gentlemen. We'll Thank you, it. sir. Appreciate it. See ya. You know, Dude, can you believe that? These are the oh kind of guys God. you hope a little bit of their manliness rubs off on you. Dude, I just want to you know? be, I mean, I wish I was half as tough as that guy. That I agree. amazing. It's an awesome All right, story. Man, that's our first uh, podcast together, man. I feel oh, good see, about this. We do another this. one in a little bit. Okay, let's do okay. it. All right. We got some more guests lined up? Yep, we do. Fort Knox Saves is hosting us. It's pretty awesome.